crash over the weekend. WTV's Nicole Dantzler sat down with Lake Little's family to see how they're preparing for this moment. Craig, I'm at the First Baptist Church where the viewing is taking place right now. You can see family, friends, and members of the community lining up inside to say a few last words and spend their final moments with Lake Little. Earlier today, I spoke with her two older brothers that say that in such a short amount of time, she impacted so many people that she could never, ever be forgotten. We were all just sitting in the living room uh, trying to decide if we were going to to the movies or Pat and Little said that's when he first got the call of Lake's plane crash on Saturday. Soon after, the family drove straight to Memphis. Lake Little flew the plane that crashed on the Ole Miss golf course and hopes to get her pilot license on July 10th. She wanted to study pathology at the University of Southern Miss and she signed up for the Air National Guard. Her dream was to eventually fly for FedEx. She loved to fly first and foremost, but more importantly, that she loved to serve others and she loved her God. Their favorite memories of Lake is being a typical older brother and annoying her. She was sitting in her room minding her own business. She had to go be disruptive. And that's just when a lot of talks came and just a lot of enjoyment. And Googling each other's names. If you just type in Lake Little, nothing will pop up. It'll just be pictures of lakes and bodies of water, you know, nothing, nothing else there. But now when you go on Google, all you can see is pictures of lake um, with a few pictures of bodies of water thrown in there too. <laughs> the family said it's no real way to prepare for this moment, but the outpour of love from everyone in the community has been helpful. For now, live in Starkville, Nicole Dantzler, WTBA 9 News. Little's funeral is scheduled to begin in the morning at 9. Following the service, Starkville Police will temporarily close a couple of roads for her procession. In the map posted by Starkville Police, it starts at the First Baptist Church Worship Center. A portion of Jackson Street will be closed. Then East Lampkin Street will be closed from Jackson Street to Fellowship Street. And from there, the portion of Fellowship Street near the Odd Fellow Cemetery will be closed. According to police, the area marked in yellow may stay closed throughout the graveside service for the safety of vehicular and pedestrian traffic if needed. Healthcare